No alien has the right of a national natural-born citizen of the United States. Words and Phrases, at your local law library. Volume 37A, P341, Revolution presupposes antagonism between government and its nationals, and aliens has not right of revolution against the United States, Qajar v. Doak, CCA IL 61 F.2D 566, 569. Volume 28, P31. Nationality of a man means his natural allegiance. Volume 3, P148. Aliens are persons, artificial, within the meaning of the Equal Protection Clause and also within the meaning of the prohibition of the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Volume 14a, P463. The Equal Protection of Law Clause of the 14th Amendment extends its protection to any person within the jurisdiction of the state and is separate and independent from rights protected by the Privileges and Immunities Clause, greater than Art. 4, Section 2. Of the United States Constitution. Plantation. In English law. A colony. In American law. A farm. A large cultivated estate. Estate. MF estat becomes, by aphesis the ME stat, whence prob. After a state the English state, especially that of a political, and of a national, unit or power, to fix or establish. The denizen British proprietors who joined the Franciscan United States were allowed to incorporate the former farmlands greater than E states, plantations or colonies of the former British Empire into the general national US government via the federal corporation. US, however, the former and nationalized, art. I, Section 4, United States Constitution i.e., naturalized British proprietors never intended to actually set the Caucasian white slaves free, even though the Constitution ordained its Art. 8, Section 9, Clause 1, termination by 1807-08. Nor did these denizens have a flag that represented their annexed corporate nation-states prior to their War of Independence, not to be confused with the Revolutionary War initiated by the former Moorish Monocan landlords of the United States at the same time. The original flag of these united colonies that eventually became the federal corporation. U.S. came from the Union Jack, that is to say, the national flag of Great Britain and Ireland, which combines the harmor of St. Patrick with the cross of St. George and St. Andrew. The word Jack is most probably derived from Sir Coat charged with a red cross, anciently used by English soldiers. This appears to have been called a Jacques. Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 4, page 1702. The term, Union Jack, includes a dash greater than and in law the dash greater than means, is often used to indicate the omission of the intermediate terms of a series which are to be supplied in reading, being thus often equivalent to, inclusive. Thus Mark IV, 320, that is verses 3 to 20, the years 1880-1888, that is 1880-1888. Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 4, page 472. The term, Sir Coat, used by the English soldiers is a quasi-word of art, W-O-A, used to conceal the historic fact that, Sir Kate, also was the coat of Anne's, of the Hebrew, Maru, Uber or Supra equals Sir, given to the coat greater than, so-called, animalistic white English slaves used in, some cases, forced military service of the tyrannical Moorish Brutish Empire of Europe. C, e.g., Webster Dictionary, W.D., for the word coat greater than coat. The term, Jack, as it pertains to a flag represents a private national ensign or ancient standards, and it indicates a type of coat of arms. The first flag of the corporate colonial U.S. was raised officially January L. 1776 and called the Cambridge flag. The official United States in Congress assembled greater than the Congress passed no resolution adopting this denizen American flag. The Cambridge flag of 1776 is the Union Jack of the nation of Great Britain and not the dash less Union Jack displayed in the Merriam-Webster New International Dictionary of the English Language, 1943-68 nor described in 4 U.S.C.S., Chapter 1, Sec. 1. Flags to Color from the American Revolution, F.C.A.R., 1996. The first flag historically reported by General George Washington, used by General Washington was the first troop Philadelphia Light Horse. The original light horse flag used the Union Jack of the British nation, however, this 1774 Jack was eventually replaced by the 1775 Jack with its 13 stripes, 7 white and 6 red, the opposite of the unchanged 7 red and 6 white stripes of the official flag of the US. The official flag of the US in 1774-75 was called the Continental Flag, 
with its white cedar and or white pine, of the Monokan Moorish Empire of the United States, on a red field. The question one should ask is how come General Washington, according to his story, did fly the official continental flag the United States in Congress assembled? We know that he was made commander, greater than first dash, in, second dash, chief of the American forces, and or the army of the United Colonies. The commander dash and dash chief is the exact same title given to all corporate administrative federal convention presidents. Placing of gold fringes on national flag, not the flag of the US, dimension of flag, and arrangement of stars in union are matters of details, greater than one who belongs to the army, but is only detached or set apart for the time for some particular duty or service, and who is liable at any time to be recalled to his place in the ranks. Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 6, page 449, not controlled by statute, greater than, a formal written enactment. The official flag of the U.S. is controlled by enactments only, but are within the discretion, greater than C. Black's Law Dictionary, Vols. 4-6, of President as Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, 4 U.S.C.S., Chapter, Interp. Notes and Decisions, 1980, page 895. The Commander, Dash, In, Dash, Chief of the Army and Navy of the U.S. from General Washington to the present Administrative President is not the preamble and constitutional, a President of the United States, Art. 2, Clause. 1, Const. USA, nor, Commander, no dash greater than, in, no dash greater than. Chief of the Army and Navy of the United States, Art. 2, Section 2, Clause 1, United States Constitution. The Administrative President Bob been given the detail, via constitutional provisions, as the highest officer shall then act as president, and such officer shall act accordingly, until the disability be removed, or, and a president shall be elected, Art. 2, Section 1, Clause 6 of the United States Constitution. Even though the present administration has been officially notified of a prior entitled and preamble posterity natural-born citizen president having been elected, and all disabilities being removed, they, i.e., the chief executive officer of the federal government, et al., has not acted according to the supreme law of the land, SLL, inter alia, and continue to conspire against and to usurp the power, authority, rights, privileges, immunities, jurisdiction, territories and other property belonging to the legitimate preamble people and general national United States of America government, in the family of nations, pursuant to the law of nations, according to the truth, hawk of the law. B that the republic for which we stand is so written in the CUSA. The United States shall guarantee to every state in this union, prior to 1789-91, i.e., before the corporate federal government was subordinately annexed, incorporated in the United States of America, FON, as a new and entire member of the U.S., for the sole purpose of acting and performing for our government when the general U.S. government, for whatever reason, could not or did not function, i.e., national and state of emergency, and the corporate management for the general U.S. government as it pertains to the government, greater than management agency, of the 12 Providence Plantations, or colonial business estates. The United States of America Constitution does not mention nor provide for a departmental partisan democratic government at all. It only provides for a republican form of government, for all the people, by all the people and of all the people. The word people does not include the general population or public when dealing with constitutional law. People, like a nation is constitutionally referring to the preamble people, their posterity, natural-born citizens, not natural-born or native-born citizens and subjects, and nationalized, naturalized resident of the United States, not Washington, D.C., b. the one nation, i.e., in one united people, people. A nation in its collective and political capacity, Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 6, page 1135. Nation. A people or aggregation of men existing in the form of an organized jural society, usually inhabiting a distinct portion of the earth, speaking the same language, using the same culture, possessing historic continuity, greater than continuation or continental, and distinguished from other like groups by the racial origin, aboriginal people who are not Native Americans, that is, wards of the state, and characteristic, and generally, but not necessarily, living under the same government and sovereignty. Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 6, page 1024. The term, preamble, originally meant, to stand for, before to, greater than pre-amphi or ambi. What to? 
the two relative Moorish people of the United States, i.e., the aboriginal citizens and the indigenous denizens, nationalized or naturalized, of the United States of America who being originally from the Ottoman Empire, Osman Bey, the once head of the family of nations. The word, we, coming from the Moorish Hebrew, A-N-W, Ani greater than Anwi, A-N-We is an I-ism or one group. It is the plural singular like the word, team, and the scriptural words, G-O-D greater than A-L-H-Y-M pronounced Elohim, A-L-H, Al-H, H, is a passive plural in the Old Moorish Arabic and Hebrew dialects, and the Nigrishan, 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 Grecian, or the original Greek words, Theo, Theon and Theos greater than God, the gods and a god. Theos is in the Bible translated, the word of God greater than the O.S. or the so-called, Jesus, O.S. greater than us or S. Theos, the O.S. or the mouthpiece, the messenger and the royal family of the gods who came to or incarnated in the earth. See, e.g., below on, the Antichrist, for more information on Jesus. The word we, royal means real and real once meant realty and real estate, i.e., that which is real, Israel, equals the chosen of God, the real state or sovereign nation, people, real adders, more eels greater than Elrochoas, Lenape Moors or the landowners. The word, preamble, and the phrase, we the people, is a contractual clause that provided and does provide for two, two people only. We, the people of the United States, in order, analogous order, in a logical order greater than from the top greater than aboriginal to the bottom greater than indigenous, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessing of liberty to, one, ourselves and, two, our posterity. Greater than all the blood relatives in all directions including denizens around the world, do ordain and establish this constitution of the United States of America. The preamble did not nor does not provide constitutional human rights for the white Caucasian slaves and involuntarily servitude black African nor Leitman or any other 13th and 14th Amendment colored person, greater than red, brown or yellow. Scientifically speaking the modem day fields of archaeology and anthropology has, without a doubt shown that there are only two types of human beings and that both types came from the vogue popular term, erroneous as it may be, African ancestry. What they are not telling the public is that African descent does not mean African nativity, and that Africa today was named after a Canaanite greater than MRTW greater than Moorish Roman citizen named Sipo Africanus, whose army defeated Hannibal, destroyer of weak men, cannibal, cannibal equals Hannibal and priest of the Lord greater than Ban greater than Khan equals Cohen, priest, I, greater than or belonging to and Baal, B.I. greater than Bay A.L.H. or lords, rulers of the earth. Jesus was born in Bay T.L.H.A.M. greater than the royal family of Bays, Bethlehem. The ancient Africans, native to Africa, never called their land, Africa. The word of art term A.F.R. Ica, root A.F.R., can be traced back in time to A.P.H.R. A.P.R. greater than A.B.R. or Eber greater than I.B.R. greater than Hebrew, however, the word Hebrew greater than ABR, EBR, IBR was originally Amr or Amaru greater than pronounced Maori, Mori or Moors. Note, AF, RE or APH RA can also means flesh, skin of Ra, Neanderthals genetically altered, fourth level incarnation of the sky people or the ancient slave races. As I have consistently mentioned throughout this notice, the original less than sovereign, legitimate and constitutional United States of America's government is a part of the family of nations. The family of nations means just that, a family or relative and no, natural person calling themselves a color, i.e., black, brown, red, yellow or white, according to the ancient law of nations, is legally or contractually considered a human being in the United States, at all. All people must declare, inter alia, an aboriginal or indigenous nationality or else stay in Babylon. Baby lion equals lion's children. The lion is a national symbol for the country of England, therefore Babylon, baby, Lion has a meaning of English children or the enslaved children. 2. A. As mentioned above, there is no mention or provisions in the SLL for any democratic government or American democracy. The word democracy in its modem form means that form of government in which the sovereignty is in and is exercised by the whole body of free citizens directly or indirectly through a system of representatives. Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 6, page 432. The crucial point in the preceding definition of democracy is, free citizens. In America today there is only a very, very, very small percentage of the population that are free citizens, i.e., preamble and natural-born citizens. The remaining populace are 13th and 14th Amendment citizens, 
permanent resident aliens and or contractual slaves. The word democracy comes from the Greek words demo, kratia, and diomia. Demo comes from demos, or demon, diomia, and together they mean mob and or demon, or inspired or inflamed disposition. Kratia means power or rulership and together they are understood to indicate conquering power. Today in the American system it means those in power who control the voting masses, mob control or the mob greater than politicians that controls. Throughout the Old Testament, OT, the word GWY, greater than pronounced goyim or goys is used to describe an animalistic people with a populi, civitatis body politics and who is also depicted as a foreigner, aliens and heathen from the true God. And they are the last nation to rise in the West. The word in English is Gentiles nation, but the proper translation for this time period is American democracy, greater than goys, a Hebrew and English lexicon of the Old Testament by Edward Robinson, 1858. B. The word partisan comes from part greater than a part of and partisan greater than to win or to beat. In a republic, greater than a government ran by the all greater than whole free citizen does not allow for any special interest groups or political subdivisions to govern the free inhabitants greater than. The illuminated and excellent George Washington inaugurated April 30, 1789 as the first magistrate, or chief magistrate, greater than the chief executive officer of the federal government in the United States, i.e., the president of the corporate United States. In his inauguration speech, Washington stated the following about the party system. In contemplating the cause which may disturb of union, it occurs, as a matter of serious concerns, that any ground should have been furnished characterizing parties by geographical discrimination. Designing men may endeavor to excite a belief that there is a real difference of local interest and views. One of the expedient of party to acquire an influence within a particular district, is to misrepresent the opinion and aims of the other districts. You cannot shield yourselves too much against the jealousies and the heartburning which springs from these misrepresentations. They tend to render alien to each other those who ought to be together by fraternal affections. To the efficacy and permanency of your union, a government for the whole, not a party, is indispensable. The basis of our political system is the right of the people to make and to alter their constitutional government. But the constitution which at any time exists, till changed by an explicit and authentic act of the whole people, is sacredly obligatory upon all. The spirit of innovation upon its principles, however serious the pretexts. One method of assault may be to effect, in the terms of the Constitution, alterations, greater than, this clause has been affected by, and this clause has been superseded. C, e.g., United States Constitution, which will impair the energy of the system, and thus to undermine what cannot be directly overthrown. I have already intimated to you, the dangers of the parties in the state. Let me now take a more comprehensive view, and warn you in the most solemn manner against the baneful effects of the spirit of the party, generally. This spirit unfortunately is inseparable from our nature, having its root in the strongest passions of the human mind. It exists under different shapes, in all forms of government, more or less stifled, controlled, or repressed, but in those of the popular form, it is seen its greatest rankness, and is their worst enemy. The alternative domination of one faction over the other is sharpened by the spirit of revenge, natural to party dissension, which in different ages and countries has perpetrated the most horrid enormities, is, itself, a frightful despotism. But this leads to a more firm and permanent despotism. The disorders and miseries which result, gradually incline the minds of men to seek security and repose in the absolute power of an individual, and, sooner or later, the chief of some prevailing faction, more able and more fortunate than his competitor, turns the despotism to his own elevation, on the ruin of the public liberty. Dot the common and continual mischief of the spirit of the party are sufficient to make it the interest and the duty of a wise people to discourage and restrain it. It serves always as to distract the public council and enfeeble the public administradons. It agitates the community with ill-founded jealousies and false alarms, kindles animosity of one part against another, ferments, on occasion, riots, and insurrections. It opens the door to foreign influence and corruptions. A free country should inspire caution in those entrusted with its administration, to confine themselves within their respective constitutional spheres, avoiding, in the exercise of the powers of one department, to encroach upon another. The spirit of encroachment tends to consolidate the powers of all departments in one, and thus create, whatever the form of government, a real despotism. C. E. G. Monuments of Washington's Patriotism, M. W. P. Ed. 3. Pub. 
Trustees, 1841, pp. 8588.